he played Macbeth, he's played Lear. Well, I left you 100,000, why haven't I got it? Most of the Asian ones out here are my students. There's an English actor, um, mainly a theatre, um, called Simon Russell Beale, because he's a great Shakespearean actor. He played Macbeth, he's played Lear. I just like the way he's able to switch from a serious Shakespearean role into a comedy role. And that is what the auctioneers need to be able to be nimble-footed enough to switch from one role uh, to the next. When I used to run the auctioneers in the auctioneer school, we used an actor called Robin Kermode. So he, he's taught us various sort of breathing techniques, voice techniques, um, body language techniques, and anything really to, to help us get those extra bids. We still run the school, auctioneer school every two years. You might get 40 wannabe auctioneers, and if they're lucky, we'll put through three, more likely to be two. We're pretty gentle with them for the opening rounds, and then it gets progressively harder and harder, and I become meaner and meaner with wrong footing bids and um, split bids. Um, it just makes them really think on their feet, and how if you're trying to get to 100,000 for an absentee bid of someone wants you 93, how do you get back on track to, to make sure that you hit 100 for the absentee bid rather than letting someone in the room hit 100? Because if I sell it to the room for 100,000, the person who left me the bid will bring me on and say, well, I left you 100,000, why haven't I got it? Um, so the absentee bid will take preference over the room and it's a question of the auctioneer orchestrating the bidding. Most of the Asian ones out here are my students. Their trouble is that because they only have two selling sessions a year, one in May, one in November, they don't get the practice. I mean, when I first started selling, I was selling 300 items at least every week. Um, in London now, if each auctioneer gets 100 lots a month, they're doing well. Um, so I mean, my learning curve was, was vertical because I, I had to do it. I, I, and because I was selling so much, you know, I was learning every every week. Now you might remember to do something one week, and then next month when you finally get back up there, you got to start again. No, uh, being a male auctioneer, we are somewhat limited. We have to wear a suit uh, and a tie. I tend to use a, a fairly bright tie, um, so that there's something for the audience to, to, to focus on. With the girls, I tend to suggest they wear a sort of nice piece of jewellery again, there's something for, for the audience to focus on. I do, I do a few voice warm-up exercises, um, because unfortunately we have to use our, our mouth and our, our head and our voice. Um, I, I sort of loosen up my face, just so my jaws loosened up. Um, do some tongue exercises because when I get up there, I've got to be on my game. Nothing annoys me more than when I say to an auctioneer, "How does the, how do the sale go?" And they say, "Fine, but it took me ten or fifteen lots to get into it." So I said, "Well, what about the owners of those first ten or fifteen lots? The owner of lot one is expecting you to be." relying on you to, to be on your game for him at that stage.